Hi everyone, it's FSKH Fashion Drawing Tutorials and this first part of lesson where I'm introducing new body proportions that I'm using lately in my tutorials, uh, where I explain how to color dark skin and where we're also drawing La Perla underwear. I changed the dimensions of head, so width now is uh, 1.5 cm and length 2.5 cm. To know how to draw face, please check the uh, face drawing tutorial of FFSketcher. I'm not explaining all the details here. Okay, so length of the neck. You know the hole between collarbones called jugular notch? So distance between that hole and her chin is exactly or almost the same as the length of her head that is 2.5 cm. The length of her shoulder is 2 cm and it has the collarbone has this strange uh, shape and uh, looking like a seagull or something. Um, okay, so now let's uh, draw the rest. Sometimes you just should follow me because there is no point to explain what you are seeing. If you want to make the same hairstyle, then make less volume on the top of your head and more volume uh, beneath your ears. Okay, so now we are learning new proportions in this lesson and as I told you before our head was 2.5 cm to 1.5 cm, right? And her neck was 2.5 cm and her shoulders were like 2 and 2 cm to the side from the center and now we are counting 7 cm from that jugular point or hole between collarbones as you call it and uh, here we like the end of pants, let's call it like that and uh, you make this V shape. Try to locate your armpits as I'm doing, not too close to your shoulders, a bit lower. Uh, locate waistline closer to the V shape, so we leave some more space for the chest. Um, when you draw your breasts, uh, start from drawing from the central line. We will change the shape later, but it, now it's um, good to use it as a guide. So now I'm drawing her arms and as you see I didn't start from the shoulder point, I made a line to the side. Elbow, the widest part of the arm. So inner part of elbow located lower than the outer part. So don't do this, don't go just you know down. Go a little bit to the side and then go down and then we're again drawing your elbow part. The inner part is located lower than the outer part. So now we're following this rule. Bra time. So uh, out uh, the side is uh, below your armpits, central is uh, like in the center of your breasts and I'm changing now the shape of your breasts, more circular. Uh, and uh, now follow me, pay attention to the shape of the bra. Okay, so now we are drawing your straps. Uh, talking about your shoulder part, start where the muscle finishes. So just before the line of your armpits. And when you draw down, follow the shape of your body. So it curves a bit uh, where your breast is. Uh, draw the low part. This is uh, uh, designed by La Perla, uh, Italian luxury um, underwear. If you want your waist to look more narrow, then make your chest a bit bigger and draw the line between pelvic bone and your chest more curved to inside. If you ever uh, uh, draw trousers, this is the regular level. 
Okay, so now I'm erasing your bottom part and making it a bit uh, higher to shorten your body. And now this point, point of a uh, end of collarbone, not the arm bone. So uh, at the same level, I'm making two lines on both sides. It's uh, the width of your hips. And before drawing your muscles, let's find out where your uh, knees are. So from your bottom, I'm counting 7 centimeters, and knees are located at the same level as your ears. So as you can see, I'm trying to, you know, to make it also uh, symmetrical. And now let's draw the muscles. Uh, we will show the muscles like an ellipse that is a bit, a bit wider in the upper part and a bit narrow in the lower part. Just exactly, not exactly, but similar to ears of a bunny. Very simple bunny. And now we kind of adding skin on the top of those muscles. So as a result, we get uh, some uh, gap between her uh, like legs in the just below her pants. As you can see, there is a, like, there must be a bit different shape there, just above your knees. So let's erase that circular part and make this curved shape. So we kind of open the gap just above your knees. Okay, so lower part of your legs. Let's let's draw the bones, and these bones are called tibia from your knees till your ankles. Uh, we finished them at the same line as, uh, as your knees, but make the line itself a bit curved, so it's more natural. And uh, so now I'm drawing the bone and then we will add muscles. Uh, in a muscle, uh, the curved part is a bit higher than one of the outer muscles, so just pay attention that is not symmetrical in, a, in inside and outside. And after that, I mean, I'm just drawing. I uh, here pay attention that we need to draw more. It's not just skin. We need to add some space because uh, your knees are looking to inside and we should show the back part of your knees. And I'm just, you know, I want her to wear just slippers like in hotel or at home. <laughs> So, just white sleepers. I will locate your pants a bit lower than the uh, trousers line to make them less conservative. And uh, just follow me. Approximately five millimeters below your bottom, uh, make the wrist line and just connect the elbow part with the wrist. Okay, so I recommend you to visit the AppSketcher website for some blog posts that I made uh, about drawing hands because it's easier to understand in pictures. Okay, so you see the final result. Uh, after you finish the second part of this tutorial, you'll get something like this. I'm explaining how to use your markers to color dark skin and uh, 
I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, subscribe to this channel, share video with your friends, like a sketcher on Facebook and follow it on Instagram. See you next tutorial.